Welcome to the Shen Word Feed, the daily source of spiritual nourishment and biblical insights. I'm Dr. Patrick Urban, and I'm thrilled to guide you through inspiring devotionals and weekly Bible studies. Join us today for life transforming experiences of Jesus in His Word through the wisdom and the power of the Spirit. Today's topic is titled Seated in Heavenly Places in Christ. And our scripture is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, ESV. And raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Years ago, while praying, the Lord interrupted me with a revelation. There is no poverty or disease where I am seated with Christ in heavenly places. It's up to me to align my earthly places with my heavenly places through revelation and faith. Let's explore what these heavenly places are. In the mistress revealed to Paul, he tells us we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. But how can we be on earth and in heaven at the same time? Let's start with the tense of the verb seat and the term heavenly places. Paul uses a Greek tense for seated that indicates the action occurred in the past and its effects continue now. This means we were seated with Christ at salvation and remain seated there. Being seated above all else is a figurative expression with at least two key meanings. First, it signifies accomplishment. Christ completed his work and is now seated. Second, it speaks of God's royal authority, the highest position of power that governs the universe. Think of a throne, a seat, a chair. So being seated with Christ means being one with him in his finished work and sharing in the highest place of authority. Paul reveals that we are seated with him in heavenly places. The Greek text uses the term heavenlies. English translations typically add places to convey the idea more clearly. However, Understanding the figurative nature of this expression is crucial. When we hear place, we tend to think of a physical location, which can cause confusion. The heavenlies are not a physical location, but a spiritual realm. The key to understanding heavenly places as they relate to us lies in the mystery of humans as spirit soul, and body functioning as one. Although we traditionally describe this as three distinct parts, we function as one on earth. With our bodies, we are present on earth. But with our spirits, we are also present in the spiritual realm. And here is the key. At the same time, time. We do not necessarily have to leave our bodies to enter into the spirit realm. Spiritual life is not an out-of-body experience. It is experiencing the reality of the spirit within our bodies and in this physical world, here and now. Heavenly places describe, therefore, the spiritual status of our spirits that govern our lives on earth. This status primarily refers to our rank or level of authority and power in fellowship with Christ Jesus through his finished work. Therefore, being seated in heavenly places describes the spiritual communion we have with Christ and the exalted position of spiritual authority we hold now. The crucial truth is this. You are in the heavenly places right now as you're reading or hearing this. 
God wants us to live on earth from this heavenly place. That is what revelation, faith, and walking in the Spirit accomplish. So, when you speak to demons, you're addressing them from heavenly places, meaning the power and authority of your words come from a position in the Spirit that is far above all others. That is God's throne. Meditate. Do we have to be out of our bodies to enter into the heavenly places? Think about this. Apply the word. Here's what God is saying to us. See, you are already in the heavenly places. It's like he told the prophets, behold, see. Know this, believe it, and let it shape how you see the world and live. Pray. Let's talk to the Father together. Dear Father, grant me a greater revelation of this truth and the grace to practice it every day. What a deep dive into heavenly places. Thank you for joining us today on the Shen Word Feed. We hope you felt refreshed as you nourished your heart with His Word and drank of the Spirit. Remember to subscribe and share and invite others to partake in the richness of God's Word. Join us again tomorrow to see that the Father's table partaking in rich spiritual food.